welcome back to Politics Watch, this is Sir P. Now, from time to time I hear me telling you about the kind of firepower that criminal gangs in Jamaica have. Now, I tell you all the time, see, in Jamaica, regular 87s are walking around with the same weapons that other countries only distribute to their special forces. What do you think I do what I make? I'm going to show you a video and some pictures of some weapons that were seized in St. James. We're not just St. James, in Salt Spring. We're not just any area of Salt Spring, in an unknown gang place. In case you're wondering, unknown gang, that sounds familiar. The way they may hear talk about that, yes, unknown gang, the same one that is controlled by your favorite producer. You know the same favorite producer with the mole and pan with you? Well, since he's been in custody, some rather interesting things have been happening. You might have heard a couple of days ago say 387 crashing in one car. They might run from police, eh? they might drive on police, set up roadblock to catch them and them, see the roadblock and turn back. Police drive them down, they go look up in one bus. Three of them dead. Police them find two weapons. Yes, unknown gang. And now we are here, the security forces just turned up in a salt spring and went to the precise location of these weapons. They never used no GPS, they never used no sonar equipment. They just happened to know exactly where to go. It looked like, say, somebody has been smuggling honey and lime in the station. Can somebody contact the water commission? Because I know say when you in time the staff strike, people that make all kind of fuss. Me I wonder if the staff them come back to work. NWC staff wanna start work again? No, we don't want the staff actually stop the leaking. We want the leaking to continue. But me just find it interesting. The timing make me scratch my head. But when I go hear some more things get fine. We're not going to hear some more people get fined. So just keep your eye in the news. Now, for my girl, for you, I want to send a special Patreon radio shout out to none other than Sheeda Styles. Now, I know enough people from a particular city. I go see the name and say, Hold on, they know me here, stylist. That. Yeah, man, she's the same one. So, Sheeda, big up yourself. Hope you have a great day. You don't know where this is coming from already. Your husband, make sure. Remind me. Say, sir, repeat, don't forget that one here. Yeah. Right, make sure so the impress no say is nothing but love and respect. Right, so you don't know this I come straight from the Rasta man. Cheetah, big up yourself. Normally other people here. So you get your ear done and just relax and chop your foot scene. Enough respect. Now we can move into the video. Now as you can see by your screen, security forces then recover three high powered rifles, two pistols, several high capacity magazines, large quantity of ammunition in Salt Spring. So here is a video. This is from the Jamaica Gleaner. We just want him to take a look. Alright. And then we're gonna show you the pictures where we can go more in depth. Now believe it or not, the magazine is not the spookiest thing them find. It's just that enough people that pick up on it. We're gonna show you the thing that stands out to me the most. So check out this video. So as I 
you say, that's courtesy of the Jamaica Gleaner. Now, you are the weapon and laid up on the back of a police vehicle. Look at what 87 in Jamaica are walk around with. Now, if you are a civilian and man a child running in your yard with one of them there, you know how to survive, right? Call the police or call the security minister, I don't know. Call your position, call somebody because that's going to save you. You see, when I tell you a picnic, and you used to hear, I right? go tell my mother, I go tell my father, what you should do if 87 is ever challenged with any of these weapons, is to say, Mr. 87, I go tell the police, I go, go tell the security minister, I go, go tell Pio, I go, go tell Prime Minister and Joe Wallace, me, me, me go tell, me go tell Mark Golden, leave me alone. And then when him hear that, the man go say, oh well, alright, well I don't want to get in trouble, so let me just turn around. People, I don't know if you understand. We tell you all the time, you can believe what you want to believe, you can have your own opinions. I'm not in the business of changing nobody's mind. Right? I'm just telling you what I am about. Right? This is why I am pro self-defense. 87s are walking around with this. If you think, may I jump on the phone, right, I dial the 119 and then wait until them get there in about 10 to 15 minutes if I'm lucky. Right? If one Jeep in the station yard will get us tonight, right, then you have a next thing coming. Because this is just a small portion of them arsenal. I notice just like I'm telling you, a couple years now, right, 87s have moved away from the AK. It's too long, it's too heavy, it's hard if you can steal in a vehicle. No, they are using right, them type of SBR, yeah. they love the AR platforms because it is a rifle, but it is much shorter and they can wheel it like a pistol. But it is firing 556 slash 223. The same rounds that the JCF and the JDF fire is the exact same rounds we come out of the weapon now. Now, you see the handgun? Look at the one above it. That right there, so, as you can tell, them spend a little time on that one day. Check out the handguard. I'm assuming most people are listening to this are civilians, so I try to explain it so everybody can understand. The very end which part of the bullet that fly through, right, that is called the muzzle. That part you see right there, so in case you want them, then why it looks so different from one that we see JCF of? Why it looks so different from the one that we see JDF of? That look unusual. That's because it have on a muzzle brake. 87s in Jamaica are working with them things. Yeah. The muzzle brake allows the weapon to manage recoil better. That way, you know, jump, jump. You know them on. If 87s could actually shoot, this type of weapon would be devastating by itself. This is why I'm telling you, say, Jamaica's murder rate is helped significantly, as bad as it may be, even though we're number one in the whole region. As bad as it may be, Jamaica's murder rate right, benefits from the fact that 87s don't know how to use these weapons properly. They can buy the dearest gun, they can put on the dearest accessory spanning, but when it comes down to actually using them, especially if they get challenged, it's a completely different story. Remember, the weapon doesn't make the shooter, the shooter make the weapon. But them things said them can just buy a fancy gun and suddenly transform into some kind of military level marksman and that's not the case. But when time I check JCF stats, what I'm realizing is that there are less shootings but more murders. Go look for yourself. That means that uh, 87s are now taking out more people by going on less shooting operations. So their kill rate is increasing. And if that kill rate keeps getting better and better, then the murder rate will get higher and higher. Yes, shootings are actually down in Jamaica, but murders are up. So pictures like this show you why 87s can have less shootings but more murders. Because the majority of them are now using these type of weapons. And because these weapons are firing a higher caliber round, it increased the chances so people have end up losing their life. In case you're wondering what the front of the muzzle brake look like, that is what it looked like, basically on your screen.
if you were to peep through your window and see that I come towards your yard, all I can tell you for do is call the police. Now, look on this. That is a 100 rounds drum magazine. The one that you see beside the buckle, those are standard right, AR magazines. They're all about 30 rounds standard. But the one where you see of the two drum them, that's 100 rounds. So imagine an 87 having not just an AR, but an AR that is very well equipped, modified with all kinds of accessories. You have 100 rounds to play with. 100. Do you know how expensive ammunition is? Even people who deal with legal weapons can tell us that ammunition is one of the biggest headaches to keep buying ammo. 87s I go up on them apps with 100 rounds. Them I shoot, all went down enough to shoot. When I give a 87 100 rounds, all if who him come for dead, him still a fire. They come like picnic, they can't help themselves. But incredibly, that is not what stands out to me the most. I know that's what most of you are looking at and thinking 100 round magazine, 3 bossy rifle. That's not what stands out to me. In the center of the screen, you see around 556. Five, that is what stands out to me, and you're thinking to yourself, then, what's so special about around? Let me zoom in a little further so you can understand why they stand out to me. Do you see what the arrow is pointing on? The green tip on the round? Let me tell you what that is. That is what is known as a tracer round. From time to time, you'll hear people in a bad man place tell you, say, them she shot a fire will look like laser. Sometimes people contact me and them say, but they want to shot me, see. One of the time I see the man in my start fire some shot look like laser. This is what people are talking about. It's actually a tracer round. Now, just to be clear, it don't make the round any more or less lethal. It's just a regular 5.56 five, round. But the tracer, when time it is fired, the round as it's traveling towards the target have a bright green light. So that is what gives the appearance of it being a laser. A civilian who is not used to them type of rounds eh, would be terrified because it look like say they might fire some kind of Star Wars gun. It look like say you're caught in one of them sci-fi movies. Eh. You think to yourself they know what kind of round that it terrifies people. Especially when they have multiple tracer rounds of fire and you see this green light that come towards you. You see this red light that come towards you. Enough people turn fool. They don't know what they're seeing. It's a trace around. They have advantages and disadvantages, but 87s right, have tracer. And the average person who see tracer around that fly anywhere near them, they might probably need a tile it. That's the kind of firepower citizen Jamaica have to deal with. The security forces have to deal with it, but they have rifle too. Right? JC have to deal with it, yes, but they have rifle too. Civilians, all you have is your phone and 119. Right. Or, well, I guess you can call a favorite politician. I'm sure they will leave the comforts of their house to come challenge 87 for you. After all, they care about you, right? Now, for the video done, I want to talk about Tupac. You're thinking, hold on, Tupac? Tupac and Biggie? No. Better talk about the 87, who is a member of the Kings Valley Gang. Member with the Emboss case? He was actually an anti-gang. He was before the courts. He was found not guilty. Guess what? He's now dead. You see, they go up on a criminal operation. Same a look for man. Kick in the door. When they reach, they can't find the man. So when they left, they end up get ambushed by another set of 87s. The man them start shoot up the car with two pack in the Remember, they go for kill man. Right. They find the man who they go for kill, and as they left, the man they start shooting them up. Tupac end up dead. All the man that the car get shot up. They even find Tupac. And when they start searching, him body them find how much rounds on the man all them things. Now, here is the thing I'm wanting to understand. I want you to look on your screen so you can see this for myself. 
Tupac along with five others right, had been charged in an indictment containing 11 counts on suspicion of being part of a criminal organization. So just like the Klansman trial, but smaller. This was one of the cases where Miller telling us is a failed example of them trying to dismantle a gang and hopefully they had learned their lesson before them get to the Klansman trial. As you can see, they may not have been in custody since October 2018, but were freed after trial judge Chief Justice Brian Sykes declared them not guilty, citing an absence of support for evidence given by the star prosecution witness. If you look at the bottom, he said the witness said he handed himself to the police and decided to give evidence against them after they killed seven people in their family, including his father, aunt, two uncles, cousin, his sister, and in law, in seeking to pull him out of hiding. So they had a star witness go a trial and still lose. This is why. I am waiting with bated breath to see what go on with the Clansman trial. Because this case, this sound like say they were going to get some convictions. Well, Tupac was one of the men who found not guilty. But I'm telling all the time, say, enough of these 87s are safer behind bars. Him touch back a road after busting an anti gang case. What do you think he might go do? Just start fresh and just, you know. Go be normal now and leave badness alone. No, they become even more empowered. They go right back to finishing any beef them did have, anybody who was supposed to be dead, them continue their mission. Let's say them they have 10 enemies and them kill 5. Then them get locked up. As them get released, them go back for the other 5. So think about this now. Tupac go up on trial, beat the case, he was found not guilty. Supporters them celebrate and say, see it? Them lock up the man for nothing. He may involve in a nothing. The judge found him not guilty. Left him alone, him innocent. Only if he now go upon him own criminal operation and go dead. These are your favorite not guilty 87s. These are the same 87s people say. Left him alone. The court says he's not guilty. Them say he no do nothing. So you chat too much. Mind your business. Alright. Well, you know who never mind their business? The man they may kill him. No, for the man them want to see a bus, them gang trial, you know, got USA, no for them did. Because they were in the middle of gang wars before they go to jail. And no for them until they come back on the road. Right. Them old enemies are waiting for them. Plus, they want to go up on them own right, criminal operation to go settle for them scores. So no for them, when you see a bus case and I celebrate, they won't be celebrating much longer. Just give them a couple years, they go to USA, them rivals kill them. Not guilty. Case throughout. You know who couldn't help Tupac? A big fancy lawyer. Because your favorite 87s, who are supposedly so hungry that you can't afford a slice of bread, you're capable of buying the most expensive weapons, with the most expensive magazines, with expensive ammo. If they get catch and go to jail, very expensive lawyers turn up to defend them. And in the rare occasion they are convicted in jail, they drink the most expensive champagne. Iron man. No problem, man. Anyway, Patreon squad, big up himself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. Whole life. Ultra squad. Stay circling. Bless.